What's going on, everyone? Thanks for tuning in to another Dyslexic Reacts. Today we're continuing our BBU 22 journey with Zero vs. Den. Uh, two very stylistically different beatboxers who both are very, very high up there in my rankings for completely different reasons. So it's going to be a hard one for me to judge, I'm pretty sure. Luckily, I'm not officially a judge, but... Um, it's normally easier when they're similar styles to be like, who did the style better? But these two are so different with like extreme insane technicality and extreme insane musicality on Den side. Like it's going to be a tough one, but I'm going to try and do it. Uh, before I do though, always remind you to check the links in the description so you can go and support the original creators. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get this started. Classic zero. Sorry, we're gonna start that over because like just from around here, just realized it sounded really quiet and my volume was down, so sorry for that. That's more like it. I wasn't feeling that. <laughs> I do like the edit on that. Yeah. Feel the proof. Cause any mustache is better than yours. What the heck? That's a really interesting ghost snare sound. Like a duck post there. Didn't seem like an ending. You and me are cool, but we ain't no brothers because I beat box hard and you only do covers. Nice B-roll, like little cuts to go with the beat. Man, it's a good, good track, good video. Um, David, David really be be knocking it out with his uh, production and video editing. Uh, goes to show part of how Shin and Shazam are Sin and Shazam are so successful because got a great 
great team behind him, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, that round, few things, disc parts I want to bring up. So uh, the one recent in memory is the I Beat Box, You Do Covers. Um, I'm not familiar enough with all of Den's catalog, so to speak, but I will agree that I am I can only really think of covers he's done. I'm trying to think if his wild card was a cover. I feel like it was, but it was maybe two, like a medley of two covers or something. Um, one thing I will say is while he does primarily do covers, it's never really a straight like one-to-one -one copy of a song. He always puts his own artistic spin on it. So it's less of a negative to me, but I do agree that when you're in a competition, there has to be some credit given for completely original compositions over taking and making it yours, but starting with someone else's legwork. And I guess they do have a category point for originality. So if Den comes in with another uh, cover, I'm expecting that point to go towards zero and not Den. But the next kind of diss I guess he did was making fun of his mustache and zero I ain't cool with that man I ain't cool with that at all not not actually like upset to be clear I'm being jokey but also I know a lot of people who have a lot of self-conscious issues about their facial hair and I think a lot of people like facial hair but don't think that they can grow something as full as other people and that discourages them and this is something stupid this is probably me projecting because i've had that problem myself like i have a fairly decent beard and mustache it's not anything special it's not anything great but like if i shaved this and let it come in slowly it would look disgusting like i have patches in here here he like there's all sorts of places where hair just doesn't grow and if you just let it go and get to a long enough point no one's gonna see those patches um and i guess all i'm really saying is i'm not a fan of personal appearance attacks as a form of beatboxing because i know how much that type of thing can mess with someone's head um because i've definitely held on to stupid comments people have made about my appearance in the past but it's a battle they're friends it's probably cool so i'm not actually saying i'm upset with zero he shouldn't have done it i'm sure in the context of this battle everything was fine but for me when your main diss is other than the cover one the cover one was good that's what saved it for me i was gonna say originally if that was his whole diss was saying your mustache isn't great. Um, would it wouldn't wouldn't have been a diss for me. I wouldn't have counted that as any sort of battle tech or any sort of thing like that. Just because I think his mustache looks fine. I mean, it's not super full. It's not bushy, but I mean, not everyone wants that. I've seen tons of people with intentionally thinner mustaches, and I think it looks good on him. So. Mm -hmm. But anyways, enough of the stuff that really doesn't matter. The beatboxing. So I will say out of Zero's rounds I've heard, this is on the lower end of the ones that I've enjoyed. Um, not that I didn't enjoy it. I really did like it. I, I've, It was very cohesive. Like there was definitely some ongoing like as the song progressed it changed quite a bit multiple times but it always came back to having that same kind of like that that kind of like chill thing he starts with this sound like that comes back throughout the entire track as well as the when the kick comes in here that That he uses that exact same kick throughout the song as well in many places. And I really enjoy that because you can change a whole lot about the song, but keep a few elements there. And so when you then start one way, go somewhere else, but keep a few elements and then come back to the original way, it all kind of comes full circle and makes sense. And I think he did a really good job of that. But the, the track itself, the beatboxing itself didn't stand out a whole lot to me. Um, but no issues. So, um, 
time to check out what Den has to say. Too many times I cried the day you walked away I saw it in your eyes All the moments we had meant nothing Time is caught to me How you want to me Why you gotta be so complicated now shorter it felt a lot shorter 230 three minutes 30 three minutes 14 so about 30 seconds shorter um not that that matters i was just curious i wasn't sure if it was so good it felt really fast um i really like that it very it reminded me a lot of so i listen to a, a decently eclectic style of music but my heart is in hardcore screaming very heavy music. Um, I feel like I've said this recently, but I may have been talking outside of my videos to someone else about this. But one of the things that I've always really, really loved and appreciated about these heavy metal bands is that they do a lot more than heavy metal. Um, they have some songs, uh, pretty much a, a lot. A lot of the big metal bands when I was in high school would typically have at least one, if not more, songs on their albums that were a soft, melodic, piano-driven, string-driven song. And it was always such a welcome change where you've gone through this album of just so much aggression in your face, and then it just comes into this slowly building like crescendo of very soft, but still very... like full in your face kind of sounds and then typically they would have the end of that song have a breakdown that went back into screaming to transition back into the other songs and the feeling i got from den here is very similar to some of the later bands in metal that i got into that were more electronic metal so there was dub core which as you can guess is screaming music that uses dubstep style electronic stuff in addition to the normal instrumentals there's nintendo core math core techno core when you name it there's a something core they, that the 2000s were a crazy time to be a metal maker because you could literally just find any other genre in existence and add a core to the end of it and you would blow up on myspace um anyways 
I'm saying way too much for this small point I want to make about this two minute and 30 second track. And it's that I feel like Den's track was very chill, very relaxing, really showed off his voice, but still was very loud. I, I, I don't know how else to explain it. Aggressive is one of the words I would use, but it was it was a very chill track. The voice, the progression, everything was chill, but something about it was never, like, dull, I guess. Uh, which can happen sometimes with chill stuff. Um, now, I don't know if this is a cover. Let's see. Moments called nine times. Doesn't sound like it, but I don't know. I'll have to do some more research afterwards. Um, I don't think it was a cover. Moments I had. Okay, well, I'll check one more. Moments I had. Nine calls. Just to throw some lyrics in there. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say this seems like it's an original. And so there goes Zero's main diss against him. Um... It's interesting because I thought I would go for zero in this. I really like Den stuff, but I still haven't really fully become a full Den fan um, just because I haven't heard enough from him to decide. And everything I've heard from zero, I've loved, even though it's not necessarily my preferred style. Uh, for some reason, his approach to it has always really, really hit home with me. So I was really going into this expecting to like zero a lot more. But I feel like Den just kind of, I don't know, neither of them were amazing. Let me just say that. Like right now, if I were to have to pick a winner off of the ones I saw, Dropical is like here. And then like, I would say probably Heart Cell would be second and he would be like here. And then like everyone else would be like, well, let me move my hand this way. Boom, 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 boom. Like, I feel like Dropical has been at a whole nother. I know I forgot his. Hiss would be up there two or three. Uh, Hearts, I think I would put Hiss above Heart Cell, actually. And the gap would be a little less. So probably more like Dropical, Hiss, Heart Cell, blah, 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 BR, so on. So I can't remember all the names. I'm very forgetful. But point of that to be, I feel like Dropical is leaps and ahead of everyone in terms of how insane and hype and good his video and beatboxing were. And so both of these for me are good but they're definitely like not competing with Dropical or Hiss or even Heart Cell, I would say. Um, so I don't have a big opinion about who should have won, but I'm going to go with Den just because I think overall I enjoyed his more, but I don't know if it was necessarily better. Um, kind of a cop out of a decision, but hey, it's my channel. I can do what I want to. So that's what we're going to do. Let me know in the comments if you're pissed and I'll ignore them. Just kidding. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I really don't have a whole lot more to say. Um, like I said, both of these were really good, really enjoyed both of them, but nothing extremely insane, uh, to me in either of them. So I don't really have a whole lot more to say, but until next, oh God, I'm back until next video. I hope y'all have a great rest of your day and peace.